Right, here we go. All right, ready? Yeah. What's up? It's your boy Trav Q. We're live with World Star BT, and I am here with a legend, Irv Gotti. World Star. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you found in Murder Inc. Right? What? What? Yes, what, what was the inspiration for finding like a record label? Well, the inspiration started when I was like 11 years old, mm -hmm. and I started DJing, and I just, <laughs> I just love fell in love with hip-hop okay so it really the inspiration and everything started from there but then I did Jay helped Jay with Rockefeller mm -hmm. DMX and Rough Riders and then I was blessed to have my own label so when I was working with Jay I always was ambitious always wanted my own label do my own thing and I gradually got it most definitely you know back in the days a lot of artists don't do this today but you have to have at least you know three verses. The music videos had to have some type of substance to it. You come from that era. So how you feel about, you know, from what you from where you came from, you, you know, what's seeing now? You know, I'm not mad at new rappers mm -hmm. and the energy that they bring. Right. New rappers today is two verses, maybe one verse. Right. You know what I'm saying? Song two minutes long, they like, <laughs> that's it, next song. Right. right. And but I'm not mad at them for that. I I, I, I love the new rappers and their their artistry and what they do is it's hip hop, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. I like to say they had a tough road. If I was a new rapper and I came after my generation, it's like, what the fuck can I say? Right. We said everything. Right. You're right, right about that. So, you know, I applaud them for thinking of new ways to stimulate the public mm -hmm. and, and keep this hip hop thing at the top of, 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 of the game. So, you know, it's all good. Most definitely. So, how was the transition from, you know, running a record label to start directing and writing your own films? You know, it's all part of the same entertainment thing. Right. In, in the music business, we have to think what beat, what lyrics, what everything that's going to excite the public. So it's not that much different. Okay. What TV series is going to excite the public? What, what movie is going to excite the public? It's not that much different. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's different, but it still involves pleasing the, the audience Most and thinking definitely. of what the audience is going to love. Most definitely. So you said you had a competition, right? Yeah. Well, okay, can you tell us about the competition? So I had a competition called Double Threat, which is actually going to be a TV series uh, where I'm kind of giving it away, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I wanted to give exposure to my man Mason over here. What's up, my guy? So basically what happened was God. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm a very spiritual guy, like, so, and I move with God. Right. And I woke up one day, and God told me, bless somebody. Give them an opportunity to star in a movie. Give them an opportunity instead of someone that may be established. So I said, fuck it, I'm going to do like an American Idol type competition and see who could rap and act. That's why it's called Double Threat. And my man Mason here, the rapping part, the acting part, he blew everybody away. That's what's up. Shout out to Mason, eh? Like it wasn't even, it wasn't even close. Right. Like it wasn't, it wasn't even close. He, he stood out tremendously. He's young, he's 24, he's from Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? And I'm running with him. He's going to be in my first movie I'm making is an adaptation of my TV series, if y'all know it, called Tales. So the movie's Tales, Tales. Tales Presents, We Made It in America. And I'm taking a Jay-Z, Kanye, Frank Ocean song, We Made It in America. Shout out to my nigga Hove, he gave me the record for free. My that's a blessing right there. Oh, over the top yeah, blessing. That's, that's a blessing right there. Save me a half a man <laughs> off top. That's what's up. But it's, it's good when your brothers Kanye and Hove is billionaires. Right. Yeah, they don't need no 500000 <laughs> from their brother or whatever. But you know, I was ready to pay, but Jay, I love him. I love you, Jay. He, he was like, go ahead, kill it. And he said he gave it to me. That's what's up. Do you have any um, advice for someone who wants to follow in your footsteps or someone that looks up to you? Go hard, nigga. <laughs> look, and don't be afraid to look in the mirror when shit ain't working. Maybe your shit ain't hot enough. That's some great advice right there. Before you start pointing fingers at everybody, look in the mirror and maybe say, man, maybe I need to go harder. Most definitely. I'm a savage, so it's hard. It'll be hard being me. 
I'm gonna tell you that right now. Maybe shoot for someone else, because I'm a fucking savage. So if you ain't ready to savage out and not waste one second of your time and just go all out for what you want, then you ain't me. Exactly, that's a fact. What? Listen, with the movie, I'm spending my own bread. What? A lot of people don't do that. See, he's putting up his own bread. I had a conversation with a billionaire friend of mine, my, my man Mark Lazarus. Shout out to Mark Lazarus. He owns the Milwaukee Bucks. I've known him for like 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I had an amazing conversation. And he drilled in my head, you can't sell what you don't own. Right? And it resonated with me because I'll give, you, I'll give World Star a little news that I'm very excited about. <laughs> so tomorrow, Tiffany! so tomorrow, I'm signing a deal worth like 300 million. Give me a pen. Listen, man, a brotherly hug for that. You know I'm I don't, I don't know many niggas like me. Congrats so on that. Congrats on that, bro. I'm going to tell you what it is. A hundred million of the deal mm -hmm. is me selling my masters. Okay. So when you think about that, what my billionaire nigga was saying, he's absolutely right. 20 years later, my master's half, and I only own half. I own 50-50 with Universal Music Group. Half my masters is worth a hundred. That's fucking insane. It is. So not only is the company, I could give you Iconoclast and Pimco. Look them up. Pimco's worth 2.5 trillion. There's a Frenchman named Olivier Chastin that's doing the deal with me. What up, Olivier? I hope you guys are like paying attention to the names and everything, because listen, y'all. Now Olivier is ill because he's gonna see this. Cause he <laughs> he be looking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my partner, Olivier. But not only is he buying my masters, but they're igniting and giving me like a 200 million line of credit for me to not just produce, create, but now own my television. Own. Lessons. Yes. This is real mogul talk right here. Yeah. Y'all got to listen, soak up all this game right here. Real That's why talk. Tyler Perry's a multi-billionaire. He mm -hmm. owns all this shit. And like... That's what I, I want to be. I just want to be it for my hip-hop culture. That's what you will be. That's what I'm going to be. Yes. Real talk. Yes. Give me five years. Hopefully, I'll come back to the radio room or see y'all do an interview. And I'm going to be worth multi-billions. Most definitely. Now that we are in... The, the deal the, that I'm saying that I'm signing tomorrow yeah. puts me on the path to that. For real. Like, not for play. For real, for real. Listen, I gotta like, say your man that. is going to be worth a couple hundred million. But, you know, the crazy shit with that is... I'm not retiring. I'm taking that hundred and I'm putting it in owning t my TV and film project. So now when you see Tales, I'm going to own that shit. Now when you see my movie, this movie that my man is starring in, you after you that. enjoy it, you say, yo, God, he own that. And when you own it, you can sell it. That's <laughs> Listen, you can't talk to him nice. You got to talk to him better. Real talk. Now that we in the middle of 2022, right? After I sign this show, I'm different. But I'm, I do it all with waving that hip hop flag. Like, right. I love hip hop so fucking much, man. Right. I love hip hop so much, it's not, even, it's not even real how much I love hip hop. And what it's done for me, my family, and my, my niggas, everybody. It's, right. it's changed our lives, it changed how we think, it's changed everything. And it's everything. making us into billionaires, Most one definitely. by one. Listen, we appreciate you, man. We appreciate all the gems as well. Yeah. You know, we're in the middle of 2022. What are your goals for the rest of the year? I mean, you basically told us your goals for the rest of the year. But, yeah, my goals know. for the rest of the year is to make a great movie with my man Mason. That's at the top of the list because I know if I make a great movie that does well at the box office and everything, it's going to just open up a, a completely whole new world for me. Right. Uh, TV-wise, you know, I had to pause because I forgot the original reason why I'm here. <laughs> the original reason why I'm here is I have a ridiculously good documentary called The Murdering Story Only on BET. And guys, I'm telling y'all and all of y'all, my hip-hop culture, man, that shit is, the shit is amazing. 
I can't lie to you, the shit is I can't fucking, wait for it. It's coming August 9th at 9 p.m. But then BET blessed me even more, and Tails comes on right after. Me. So it's fucking two hours of unadulterated, beautiful hip hop. If you love hip hop like me, you, you're you gonna be glued. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be satisfied. Real Not talk. only glued, you're gonna be like, yo, I can't wait till next week. Right. The documentary, I cannot speak enough about it. Big shout out to Michael Payton, who directed it. Uh, Darcel Lawrence, who's the president of my uh, Visionary Ideas Company. And Chris Costine, who's the other producer. They did an amazing job. Like when I watched, the, I didn't see episodes four and five yet, because it's five one hours. Mm -hmm. The first three episodes had me, and my females. We are talking about me and Ashanti's relationship. Tune in. Oh, wow. There will be no lies. Okay. Hey, there will be no lies okay. told on the documentary. Y'all better check out August 9th at 9 p.m.? August and 9th at 9 p.m. on BET. And he owns it. So no, I don't own that one. I'll own the next one. But, but the next one, the next one ain't going. But it's BET so good, though. So. BET owns that one. So I'll own the next one. Most you know definitely. What I'm but, you know, I cannot say enough about the doc. It is truly amazing. I'm telling y'all right now, this shit is amazing. Looking forward to that. And and and, and then we speak on everything. We speak on the beast. We speak on the feds. We speak on my life. I had to tap in. And the crazy shit is, you get to see my nigga Olivia Chasson at the end, because just like the Defiant Ones, mm -hmm. when they it ended with them being billionaires, basically and selling. My document ends with everyone knowing you see the guy who's giving me like three hundred. Yo. He says the illest shit, too. He says, oh, he talked to Flinch actually, this is you're fucking brilliant. He says, oh, God, you're fucking brilliant. You're a fucking genius. Then he says the illest shit. Just know that you have an unlimited bank. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Like, it stopped unlimited. me. It stopped. Unlimited. Listen, it stopped the uh, producers. Everyone was like, yo, did he just say that? <laughs> He said, just know I'm with you and you got an unlimited bank for whatever you want. He said, don't, he told me don't think about money no more. Think about what you just want to do. We need more friends like that. Real talk. I'm going to hold on to him tight. Real talk. Real talk. We need more friends <laughs> like that in this said, world. Just, just, uh, just, uh, you have an unlimited <laughs> bank. Who the fuck says shit like that? <laughs> Aren't you happy when they say it? Right. They get to look at it. You got an unlimited bank. There's nothing else you can say, but thank you. Okay, well, hey, thank y'all. No, he, that. like, I'm never at a loss for what he said that, and I was, like, looking at my, they couldn't believe it either. <laughs> and he was dead serious, but he's he's with a company, Pimco, that's 2.5 trillion. Okay, Pimco. Yeah, so he that ain't even too. fronting. Right. Yeah, they, they acquire catalogs. Right now, acquiring, you see Justin Timberlake got his honey. Right now, it's a big movement with acquiring catalog, which I have to, you know what I got to thank? Streaming. <laughs> because, say, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. if I had went to sell my catalog, it would have probably been like a million, two million, because they base it on a multiple. Right. But my catalog, it's only CDs. So maybe I'm generating 100, 200,000 a year with selling my catalog CDs. Now, fast forward to today. Different. Yeah, they, no one got to buy my CD, just play my shit. Right. And I've been told, they said, yo, Herb, your catalog streams more than new artists. For some reason, they love my Murder Inc. music. That feel good shit, they, they fucking with it right now. It was definitely a vibe, bro. It is a vibe. I can't even front. When I play it, I'm like, nigga, that's it's, a great it's, record. All these records to the day, you can still run all My those man, records. we was playing some things. He's like, nigga, you got hits. I said, yeah. When you, Lloyd, Ja, Ashanti, all of those Herb Dottie presents and mm -hmm. all of those record soundtracks and the records, the features, it's a lot of fucking, really Ja reminded niggas with verses, right? right? Ashanti reminded motherfuckers with verses when she was again. Like, people's like, damn, this nigga got mad hits. Facts. She got mad hits. Yeah, I, I own all of them. You know what I'm saying? And they streaming that shit. But my streaming numbers is crazy. Like, I just got my first quarter numbers, and they doubled. They're up like 
Thank you, God. Back in the days when you had to go door to door. Like, thank you, God. That's yeah. all I can say. Right. But you know, you know, people with title and and Apple and thing, they make their own playlists. Right. So what I'm hearing is that murder my music is on like anyone who makes a playlist. I have like five records on their playlist. Yeah, that's wow. Good. That's a fact. Look, yeah. right. That's a fact. That's a barbecue field good music. You probably got 10. Timeless music, y'all. Timeless music. Quality over quantity. For sure. I've learned that too. With the entertainment business, take your time and try and make the best shit. Because if that shit stands the test of time, it's going to make money for you forever. forever. Yes. The fact yes. that 20 years later, I'm selling 50% of my catalog and someone's going to give me 100 million, I still be bugging. I'm like, really? <laughs> Some shit I made 20 years ago. Right. It's not like this shit was I, this shit was out last year. It was 20 years ago. Facts. I made I made good shit. Real I talk. made good shit. And that's why he's one of the goats and one of the legends. That's a fact. <laughs> you know how we do it, man. Irv. Irv. Mr. Irv got it. We appreciate you, man. All the Thank gems you. you dropped, all the knowledge you gave. Thank I'm going to be hitting you up because I'm going to be learning from you as well. Hey, you listen. Know the vibes. And world star, mm -hmm. I want your support. Because my movie is a hip-hop culture movie. So everyone that loves the culture and World Star, World Star, you guys are worth a lot of money fucking with the culture. So everyone that fucks with the culture, I'm coming to you on bended knee. And we can figure something out where I'm, I'll pay. You understand? But I want, I really want everyone that, uh, from radio stations, to sites like y'all, to everyone who, who's with the culture, mm -hmm. I want them to fuck with and support my movie. Man. My movie's a, a hip hop culture. You know what my movie is? It's like the story of Jay Z, Easy E, Quality Control, Cash Money. What do all of those have in common? Let's see if y'all are real hip. Huh? No. What is all of those company? Okay, and what was the start? How did they get the money to be independent? Yes, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That's my movie. That's my movie. Him and his older brother that's selling, that, that's drug dealers to become hip hop stars in the hip hop label. And I'm making analogies in the movie with like the Kennedys and Rockefellers. Cause them niggas was bootleggers. That's how the, the pillars of the American society was illegal when they started. But they built all that money up and then flipped it legal. Right. And now they're the pillars of our community. But nigga Joe Kennedy, nigga you was a bootlegger, yo. You was fucking a run runner. You was and mad big established white American families, their lineage, if you look back, is that. So I made a parallel for niggas that, so what we sold drugs? So what? So what? We got that capital and flipped it and made a hip hop label. And now Jay-Z's a billionaire, nigga. Untouchable. Right. And that's what basically the, the movie is, is based on. It's got some other themes in it for the females, right. with him and his girl. If you see Soraya, Soraya is the lead female. Y'all know Soraya, she was in yeah, Empire. Yeah, yeah, we just interviewed her. Yeah, she, yeah, she said she was coming today, too. But she's the female lead. Her and his relationship is crazy. I'm going to get some big rap cameos in it. But, you know. Most definitely. You know what bugs me out with Hollywood? What's that? The last hip-hop movie was, like, straight out of Compton. Mm -hmm. Straight out of Compton did, like, 300 fucking million. Facts. Why hasn't there been another hip-hop movie? You got to make it happen. Because the powers that be in Hollywood, a 70, 80, 70 year old white man, they don't know. But I like that. Because I'll give it to them. Right. I'm going to give them a hip hop movie every six to eight months. Watch. Let's get it. We're looking forward to it. Yo, the legend, Irv Gotti, we appreciate you. World, hey, world star. star. Let me get 100 bottles and put it on his tab. Put it on his tab right here. On his tab. You the guy that does that? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Can I get a water? <laughs> of course. Listen, you the guy that does that? Yes. You would definitely get what? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga be like, yo, let me get that, that, that. And put it on his tab. Real talk, real talk. You don't warn him or nothing. Nah, I just do it. <laughs> yeah. We just do it.
got that movie role looking a little better now. I mean, that movie role, he might be able to play a white rapper. <laughs> what they talking about? Stop playing with me, man. Real talk. Good talking to you, man. Good talking to you, Let's get a picture. Yo, Cali, you got the picture real quick?